Yo, we are back, man, with another video. This is Zula, a journey into insanity. I got a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. It's GG. You can find me on Instagram, GG or TikTok, Twitter, GSK00. And you know where else to find us? Oh, yeah. I ain't playing. I want you, and I'm going to have you. This man Aang had to resort to the last resort and go into the Avatar state. So while everybody's just looking at this bald ass kid glowing and floating in the air, Azula fries this nigga. Damn. Ain't that the nigga off Avatar or something? <laughs> Y'all let me know, man. You ever seen anime? I have, yeah. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> nah. Hey, on what you see? Um, what? What? Ah, uh, greetings, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I welcome you all to. She don't even asylum. know. Damn. Now I know this I know is the a change of scenery, and I know damn well some of y'all niggas is probably like, I'm um, CJ. What the f is going on? And it's simple, really. Unlike the round table where we deal with the most menacing foes, over here in the asylum we deal with some cool -ca 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 ass niggas. Niggas that got some screws loose in their head. For an example, we got this weird nigga that be f***ing with hands. A plethora of psycho bitches. Literal clowns in basically the entirety of Gotham City. And a motherless psycho princess that is off a perk. Who we will be focusing oh, on she today. off a perk. Patient 001, Azula. Now let hey. me quickly explain how this is going to work. Unlike roundtable trials where we have exhibits, in the asylum, we will be using our handy dandy sanity meter and it's very simple to understand. The crazier that nigga gets, the higher the level. It's basically just like a GTA wanted level. <laughs> and with that out there, commence rehabilitation. So as we know, this man Ozai sent his war machine of a daughter to first go after Zuko and Iroh. This man Ozai basically said, Azula. Yo uncle is a bitch, and so is your scarface bitch ass bitch of a brother. Find they sorry asses. So she began her first goose chase of many out here going to find Zuko and Iroh. And just look at this, bruh. This is how you could tell the early signs that she was crazy. She got these poor souls carrying her ass. Dang. You know, yeah, Shawty's royalty and shit. But bitch, you can walk. You out here breaking yeah. these poor niggas' backs. I know they hate that. So <laughs> would you do that? Would you do that? <laughs> Would yeah. carry or <laughs> how niggas carry you like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then she gets out and immediately starts threatening her own guard. Had these grown ass men shaking. She was like, okay, first of all, thank you everybody for coming on this forceful manhunt with me of my uncle and my brother. But um, if you fell me, I will burn your corpse and throw you overboard so your family doesn't get your fucking body for your fucking funeral. Dang. This mess. She started threatening the captain of the ship. Bro said, I'm sorry, princess, but I don't think the tides is gonna let us get in by nightfall. But then she told this nigga, Well, um, that's your problem. Cause if you don't get this ship in by nightfall, I'm throwing your ass overboard and you can complain <laughs> about the tides when you're fucking drowning. Whoa. Yes, ma'am. So later on, Azula she would have been at a five right and there. Iroh. And then she started to use her S tier manipulation. She started telling this man Zuko, Okay, so listen, Zuzu. Daddy wants you home like now. Well, Zuko and Iroh was like, oh, what's hell up with no. that nigga? Why ah. you trust your ass? Especially Zuko, because he like, why the fuck will my dad What's wrong with your eye, nigga? You had too much booty in your face or something? You got me home after he banished me, burnt off half my face, and sent me in exile with this terrible ass ponytail on the back of my fucking head. Oh. Like, seriously, was this a part of the banishment? Like, what is this, bro? Like a horse tail, nigga? And to add more fuel to the fire, Azula's ass was smiling while watching her brother get his face burnt off. Like, you sick what? ass nigga. You enjoyed that shit, didn't you? Hell no. But nice. Azula, with her A tier manipulation abilities, ended up convincing them to come back with her. So they end up walking up to the ship. And of course, Azula's little rat ass is like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy y'all both came. Now we can be a big, happy family again. But this man, I believe that. his P's and Q's. He was like, oh, no, nah, it's holding got us in the trap. So then the <laughs> idiot captain ends up saying, everybody all hands on deck. We're taking the prisoners home. Is this nigga serious?
Oh yeah, uh, Iroh started throwing hands out here boxing the hell out of these boys. And oh my god. Zuko pissed off, so he ends up confronting Azula. And just look at this, bro. She is outclassing the hell out of him, dodging every single hit. This is embarrassing, Zuko. I guess that burnt left eye of yours must really be a handicap. Because my boy, you can't get <laughs> nothing. Yo, bitch, you gotta be fucked up. But then she grabs him. <laughs> then she goes stumble and fall on his ass. And then she starts charging up lightning, bro. She is going for the kill shot. But that man, oh, yeah. had to grab her and redirect okay. the shit. And had to kick his ungrateful niece over. Uh -huh. After she failed yeah. trying to capture At least she tried. Zuko, she ended up realizing. She was like, hmm. I guess it's time to get the girls back together. So Azula sets out to go get her friends. And the first girl she goes and gets is Ty Lee. And she did her so dirty. She gaslit the shit out of Ty Lee, her own best friend. So obviously Ty Lee was happy to see Azula. She was like, oh my gosh, girl, I haven't seen you in so long. But Azula's old trifling ass was like, yes, yes, queen. But um, what the fuck are you doing at this circus? Um, I'm exploring myself. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yes. Okay, uh, listen, boo boo. I have a mission and uh, I need you like now. But girl, I'm so happy here. I'm like really in tune with my zodiac sign right now. Really, nigga? Okay, yeah, fuck all this. I'll leave you to it. But then before Azula leaves, she ends up saying, Oh, girl, but before I leave, I'm gonna be watching your show tonight. So break a leg. And look at her changing her face, bro. She's like, oh, hell no. Break a leg? Later she that meant that literally? Having the show in, uh, yeah, this is just unexplainable. Later that night. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Tylee. Oh my gosh. Yes, queen, you are doing great. <laughs> yes, queen. Oh, yes, queen. Um, could you possibly <laughs> light the net on fire? Huh? Man, what? Man, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that your best friend up there? Um, motherfucker, did light you it on like fire. I stuttered? Light the net on fire. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh my God, is this hoe trying to kill me? And no, no, this you got the audio. You need to pick another friend. Man. How many animals you got? Because release all them niggas. Entertain me, bitch. What? So yeah, uh, after the show, mm -hmm. she is backstage with her. She's just complimenting her and everything. She's like, oh my gosh, that was such an exquisite show. I can't wait to see you do this all over again tomorrow. But Tylee was like, um, hell no. I'm never doing that shit again. I almost fucking died. <laughs> Bitch, I'm joining you on your mission. So after she got Tylee, what? she went to go get May's old gloomy ass. And she ain't even hesitate to join. She basically said, oh my gosh, girl, about damn time. Get me the fuck out of this dirty ass city. And just like that, the Fire Nation city girls were in business. Okay. But no, nah, they pull up on Aang, Katara, and Sokka to do a hostage trade with Boomy and May's little ugly ass baby brother. Like, what the hell is that cut, little nigga? Little bro got a goatee on his head. And they named the little baby Tom Tom. What type of stupid ass name is that? But then here comes Azula's little snarky ass. She started saying, Now, May, why are we trading a king for a little two year old with a fucked up haircut? And she had May thinking, she was like, You know what? You're right. So she ended up calling off the deal. So he started running to get Boomy, and while he was jumping, he ended up exposing his bald ass head. So she started hawking this man down. Shawty is on a mission. So she ends up kicking Boomy's big ass casket, and this man Aang had to start surfing. And wait a minute. That nigga oh, surfing on a casket? Out here really hitting the Itachi. She on that, I'm about to murder my whole clan timing. So she starts chasing Aang on this Sonic the Hedgehog looking stage. She start hitting this man with the aerials. He, 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 he. She is not playing with Aang's bald ass. And then she threw a whole fire wheel at him. But this man, Boomy, ended up bailing Aang out. But this was just the beginning of the wild goose chase. She was on this nigga Aang dick 24 7 trying to capture his ass. Damn near rivaling Zuko head ass. Like, look at this, bro. Over the course of multiple episodes, she is chasing this man down in this big ass train. And then look at what she is riding, bro. Is that a overgrown salamander? And they was I thought it was like a webtail. They so. follow these niggas everywhere. Look at the bags under their eyes, bruh. That's how you know that lack of sleep is kicking in. They looking like me after I finish editing a video. Dead and cooked. <laughs> but nah, later on, she ended up catching up to this man, Aang. In this abandoned old western town, looking like they about to have a duel at high noon. And look at all this shit she talking. 
Aang asks, who are you? And she puts her hand over her eye. And she's oh. like, can't you see the family oh. resemblance? I just don't have a fat ass skull. The disrespect, nigga. The disrespect. God <laughs> dang. Because I'm not a pussy. And speak of the devil, this man Zuko comes out of nowhere. Bro said, heard you talking shit, bitch. So they about to have a whole Dang, so that nigga got a whole so hair. So Zuko sends Zuko flying. And look Fool at Aang's now? face. He's like, oh, nah. My arch rival, my Vegeta. My Sasuke just got washed in one second by his sister. I'm out this bitch. But Azula was not letting this man get away. Already had this man Aang going timber. And the triple threat match was going crazy. Look at his movement. She has control of this entire fight. But look Dang. at this big brain play by Aang. More to come back type this ish. building with no floor. And she was balancing for her life. And then Zuko's dumbass just ran in there and fell. But nah, this man Zuko was just getting tossed, bro. <laughs> And now she had this man oh. Aang doing Sonic and Mario wall jumps. But now she had this man <laughs> Aang cooked. It looked all over for Buddy. And then Katara came in and saved Oh, Aang's nigga, legs. you better get out. And after this, the whole damn cast was about to jump her. And look at her. She like, oh, wow, I am baffled. So what, y'all are just going to jump a poor, innocent little girl? Innocent. Pathetic. But look Get her she, ass. Like she about to surrender. But she said it. And lands a critical hit oh. on Pyro, and she just dips. Shawty made her unk a pack in her brother traumatized. Dang. But nah, you're probably thinking, how unk? more insane can Are you going to do that to unk? Well, uh, <laughs> try drilling a hole into the Great Wall of China. Or bossing say, but come on, bro. It's literally the Great Wall of China. Shawty really got an oversized screwdriver and tried to drill a hole in this big ass wall. She is really out here vandalizing one of the wonders of the world. And all for what? For daddy's approval. So this man Aang had to go on a side quest to save this damn city from Azula's tyrannical drill. So Azula comes up here and just starts whooping Aang's ass again. And look at her hit this person. Right <laughs> and she tried to get that she said, My boy. mobility is elite. And jumps up and hits this man with a spinning fireball attack. <laughs> So she picks up Aang and she's about to kill his bald ass. But that man's plot armor kicked in and that man turned his armor to the thing. Okay, so the Azula thing, yeah. running at this man Aang, Fantastic but all this Four shit just fuse everywhere. Four. Okay, hold on, hold on, but that actually sounded kind of crazy. Hold on. So all this chunky liquid just goes everywhere and it gave Aang the time to do a <laughs> drop. So he DK slams the drill and Azula goes flying. And Azula's evil scheme for the week was over until she did some more crazy shit and decided to take over the entire Earth Kingdom. You what? what? So how Azula took over the entire Earth Kingdom should be studied. First of all, look at this S-tier espionage. Shawty's whole team took the whole Kiyoshi Warriors fit after guess what? Flashback, she snuck them hoes. Look at Tylee giving this girl hands. Gave this girl a whole five piece combo and blew her back out. Then Azula <laughs> put that suit, <laughs> her ass, then put her ass into a prison. Well, now we go back to the present day and poor Katara, bro. She thought this was the real Kyoshi Warriors. But I ain't gonna lie, what happened to her right here was kind of deserved, though. Because she was really being the Karen, I ain't gonna lie. Out here trying to report Ivor and Zuko, <laughs> just trying to serve tea peacefully, damn it. Let them serve their tea, nigga! I'm sorry. But anyways, Katara got gotcha. you. Oh my god. So after this, Azula ends up taking over the entire Dai Li. Because a long thing's old treacherous, traitorous ass out here trying to stage a coup. You bum. But anyways, bro, she ended up taking over the entire Earth Kingdom Black Ops and had these niggas snatching up every single Earth Kingdom gym. The Dai Li was sneaking the hell out of these boys. She ends up capturing Zuko after she sent some fake ass note saying the Earth King wanted to try their tea. And then she takes the Earth King himself bruh. hostage. Like, bruh, it can't get cleaner than that. This is goddamn elite espionage. But nah, this man Long Fang thought he was him. After they finished the coup, this man said, all right, boys, arrest her. But they was like, nah, nigga, you pussy. Hell nah, we you arrested yourself. This and then she looked at this man like, oh my God, you really thought that you was him? Yeah, shut the fuck up, get on your knees, and start glazing me, bitch. I apologize. Hey, you thought you was him? Not him. <laughs> then, just like that, Bossing say was hers. But nah, she was not done yet. But she was about to commit probably her most notorious act. So leading up to this, as we know, Azula manipulated the hell out of Zuko's dumbass to get him to Dang, join her. Why is he changing every time? This nigga got a whole Katara. whole head full of hair now. You know what I'm saying? Didn't that nigga just have a ponytail to begin with? Uh, this is way saying, different. Don't now. do it, nigga. But nah, while Azula's getting tag teamed by Aang and Katara, this man Zuko came into the fight and he thought about it for a second. Oh, this like, nigga look like Jackie you know Chan. What? I'm gonna join my crazy ass sister. Oh, so he starts blasting that Aang. 
And I ain't gonna lie, this what? fight was brutal. The Azula and Zuko. Bro, you supposed to be going to get cooking. your sister. First off, Aang got fucked up. Azula bull rushed this man and sent Aang flying to God knows where. And Katara just got jumped. Like they whooped her ass like it was no tomorrow. So now it looks like I would have stayed out of it. You should have stayed out of it. Add on to the jumping. The Azula and Zuko duo was cooking like Shaq and Kobe. So this man Aang had to resort to the last resort and go into the Avatar state. So while everybody's just looking okay. at this bald ass kid glowing and floating in the air, Azula fries this nigga. <laughs> Bro, oh. your thoughts. Thought he said, Fuck <laughs> so successfully. In sequence. This ain't no anime, nigga. It may be inspired by it, but I don't play by those rules, bitch. <laughs> and she put this man, Aang, in a pack. Dang, Aang. Rip Bozo. Oh, nigga in a coma. When the nigga woke up, he had hair. Like what oh, okay, so the real Zula God now. Yeah. up Aang and took hey. over the entirety of Ba Sing Se. She ends up going to tell Ozai that Zuko killed the Avatar, but he know damn well Aang ain't dead because the series ain't in yet. That's how you know the main character ain't dead. Well, until Korra. But anyways, Zuko busts up in her room trying to interrogate her and shit, asking why'd you do it? And she like, oh my God. Okay, first of all, Zuko, you're ruining my fucking beauty sleep. And second, you should be happy because daddy fucking hated you. You should be lucky he's not burning off the other half of your face. Really, nigga? Now go ahead and pack your bags because you're going on a girl's trip to Miami. Oh, hell no, man. The next day. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they twerking, grandma. Niggas. Now, why the <laughs> hell did she have to do that? Like, honest question. No, yeah, I'm for them little boys. Sandcastle? Why you do that? Well, nah, but during this entire beach episode, you end up figuring out that Azula's social skills are terrible. And I blame this on her parents. This whole trip, she was just set up for failure. First of all, you know every single simp on this damn beach is going to be trying to get with Ty Lee. Second, May and Zuko are a whole damn couple. So you know damn well they're going to be off somewhere just cuddling up and shit. So you already third willing. But to make it worse, your social skills are terrible because all you know is war. Perfect example. Look at this volleyball game right here. Okay. She's out here analyzing. You know how to play volleyball? Volleyball game. She's Man, saying, not at all. I watch Haikyuu, so I know how to play volleyball. See that girl dribbling the ball over there? I bet you she had a hey, She looks strong as hell. Whole game. And this whole game was over. Yeah, dang, was I wouldn't like play 16, volleyball against her either. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. Look at this last spike. Boom! Dang! So after she destroyed the entire volleyball court, she yapping at them like she in an old school MW2 lobby. Get the fuck off of my court, you lame ass trash ass niggas. You should feel fucking humiliated because how trash y'all are. I just saw the game, bitch ass niggas. That's how they be okay, on NBA 2K. But no, it got worse than this. They ended up going to this party and Azula's Riz is absolutely terrible. Bro, just listen to this shit, bro. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful. You could puncture the hull of an Empire class Fire Nation battleship. Thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. Oh, she a lunatic. She crazy. What the fuck is you what talking about? What the fuck about? was that? I'm sorry. Don't know. Know. But no, this whole party was terrible. Ty Lee ended up getting trapped in the corner by like five niggas. And you know damn well what oh. they trying to do. They trying to run the Polar Express on our ass. Yeah, yeah, you already know. GB. You already know what GB is, man. You sick if you know what GB is, my nigga. You know what GB is. She had to make her escape immediately. And Azula was down bad this whole party. She got her asking Ty Lee, why won't guys talk to me? Uh, well, I mean, it doesn't help that your wrist is terrible, Azula, but um, you should try not looking like a total bitch all the time. But now Azula ends up finally talking to this one dude. And bro, <laughs> oh my God, this is just so bad, bro. So she trying to raise this nigga up. She like, oh my gosh, your arms are like so strong. And this nigga talking like muscle man. Oh yeah, really? My mom gave me these muscles. But no, they end up kissing each other. But then this is where everything just goes south. She was like, oh my gosh, this is so hot. You know what would make this even more hotter? You been the fuck over getting on all fours while I'm dominating your ass. And together we will rule this earth and dominate the world what? and burn it all to the ground. Hey bro, you gonna watch this 10 years from now, bro? You don't know how to your kids. What the hell are you doing? Nigga, it just Zero went from all of that. That's crazy. Uh, like me. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I gotta take a doodle. I gotta take a doodle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> that happened. But no, look at this toxic shit. They end up going back to that dude's house and they just trash the whole place. And look at her behind him. She is enjoying his sweet tears. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get to the turning point. Now, we all know that she warned Ozai about the invasion and everything. And then she played tag with Aang and them. Blah, blah, blah. We going straight to Boiling Rock. Because this is where her sanity shits the bed. So while she's fighting Zuko, Sokka, and them trying to escape the prison, Mei ends up betraying her, allowing Zuko to leave. So she ends up confronting her. She like, um... What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, you shouldn't have uh, did that. Saving my mans, a feeling that you will never know. Oh, Ooh. wow, looks like Miss Gloomy got a mouth on her. Looks like I should close it. But Ty Lee ends up G-blocking her and puts her on her ass. She is shook. But she should have saw this coming, though, because their entire friendship was just based off of fear. I mean, if you go back into the past, Azula was a little asshole. I mean, oh, look at this. Azula's so doing this friend did wheel, and she falls on her ass. And she sees Ty Lee perfectly do it. You know what Azula does? Fuck your ass, bitch. Like, bruh. And look what she does to Mei. Probably because you had to do all them tricks her head. at Wipe the circus. Apple on fire, they end up busting they ass. And she's just laughing at it. No wonder your mama thought you was a monster. And nah, bro, we go back to the present. She like, the hell with y'all dirty hoes. Y'all can ride in prison for the rest of your fucking life. And it just got worse from here. Astronomically worse to be precise. We end up figuring out later on that Azula was the one who came up with the plan to burn down the entire Earth Kingdom when Sozin's Comet comes. And when it's time for the plan to be enacted, Ozai's like, mm, you know what? Azula, you're not coming with me. So Azula was obviously hurt. She started questioning him. Um, <laughs> excuse me? It was my plan, dad. What the fuck? Stop treating yeah, me she like been fucking doing this Zuka, all for a dad this bitch, whole what did time. You just say to me, oh, I'm sorry. But nah, this man Ozai ends up making her Fire Lord. And now since Azula is high in power now, she decided to become uh, high on life. Because from this point forward, she is cracked out. She is on the brink of breaking her sanity. She doesn't trust absolutely anybody anymore. After all her friends betrayed her, her dad hoeing her on her plan, and basically being neglected by her mama, she was off a perk. Look at this, bro. She got these servants <laughs> touching her up, scrubbing her feet. She just needs some nails love, done man. And everything ready for her coronation. She got this poor girl serving her cherries. But this poor girl was hey, just I the like first cherries. victim of the banished spree. Look at this. She eating the cherries. She like... Um, bitch, what the fuck is this? A cherry pit princess? <laughs> uh-huh. And what the fuck would have happened if I swallowed that shit? Oh, you, you could have choked. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're correct, <laughs> Captain Obvious. Oh, so you know what she threw it next, at him. Right? Oh, I wouldn't take that disrespect. No. You're British. Get the hell out of my palace and get the fuck out of my country. Hell no. The hell are y'all hoes looking at? These feet ain't gonna scrub themselves. But nah, it got oh, worse. Nah. She banished all her dilute agents because they was five minutes late to her meeting. She banished every single servant and one of the old ass ladies that was basically one of her mentors. And then this is where she was really cracked out. She out here trying to put her hair up and she started fighting with her hair. She was like, all right, here. what? You, you wanna fight me? How? Girl. You wanna square up? She cut her hair off. <laughs> Look at her, bro. Oh, she low key. I know this how some girls is anyway. You know they got that fight every day, god day. <laughs> Looks like oh, yeah. every <laughs> single drug on the market. She got split ends, bags on the eyes. Shawty looks like she has not bathed in days. And then she started having a schizophrenic episode talking to her mama in the mirror. She was like, oh, "What the fuck are you doing here, bitch?" Azula. <laughs> Didn't, Didn't I, I teach, teach you to, you to say, say no, no to drugs? drugs? And she's just talking to her mama. Well, talking to herself. And she just throws the So she actually do mirror. drugs. She a oh, bit crazy. crazy. This is why I started this series. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the peak of Azula's madness. As Azula's about to be crowned Fire Lord, Zuko pulls up to get it back in blood. After being manipulated, deceived, and mentally tortured Finally by his this sister time. his entire life. So Azula says, I challenge you to Agni Kai, AKA Mortal Oh my God, what is that? So these two get ready to duel. Azula is looking absolutely cracked out right now. So they start bending and put on one of the greatest light shows of all time. This entire fight was beautiful brought a tear to my eye back in 08. But Azula was looking hella down bad this entire fight because since her mental state is literally scrambled eggs right now, she was actually getting cooked because she couldn't fight right. So Zuko ended up knocking her down and then he started provoking her. He was like, hey, where the lightning at, ho? But this was the biggest mistake he made. She said, oh, you want to see lightning, nigga? So she started charging that hoe up and said, hmm, 
Let me shoot this at Katara. So he shoots it at her, and Zuko ends up taking the shot. And that man is done, bro. <laughs> GG's. Bro, why did you take the shot? Over. But Azula shoots another bolt at her, and the insanity meter is already at the peak right now, but now this shit is overflowing. Her brain is scrambled. She out here moving like a god <laughs> zombie. Look at her, bro. She's just walking around and just shooting lightning now. Katara was really out here surviving a horror movie, but she was like, nah, bro, I gotta stop her now. Oh, we all dying. So she leads her crazy ass over to the gutter and freezes her right before she blows off her head and chained her ass up and put down this crazed tyrant. And look at her, bro. This is just a breakdown. She just had to let it all out. Dang. I ain't gonna lie. I She's still going at for it. Her, but at the same time, I'm like, lock her ass the fuck up. So ladies and gentlemen, as we see, the meter for patient 001 has filled to the brim. It is maxed out. And this was not the end of her shenanigans. Now I haven't read any of these Avatar comics, but I heard that Zuko Yo, what you think about that whole series, though? It was interesting. <laughs> interesting. That bitch was crazy. <laughs> I mean, she did it all for a dad, you know what I'm saying? Just crazy going against your brother and everything. And then your dad really betray betrayed you anyway, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. what was the cost of doing everything? This was insane right here. Would you watch that anime or that's a little too crazy for you? I mean, I like that version. You like that version? Um, yeah. I'm going to Miami, Miami trip. You know what I'm saying? Anything you would like to add on here, though? Um, no. I mean, it was a nice little clip. I liked it. Enjoyed it. Go follow her. You know what I'm saying? Follow on all platforms. Follow me. You know where to follow her at. Yep, Instagram. I'm gonna yeah. just do that. I'm gonna just do yeah. that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go follow her right now. I'm gonna leave a link tree in the description. Appreciate you coming on. You know what I'm saying? Me. No cap, man. Y'all hit that light, hit that saw, man. It's the fat red guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys have a wonderful day.